Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Cagle, and I'm going to talk with you just a moment about how to get up and start walking with your brand new knee replacement when we're thinking about getting you up and moving after having that surgery. So, the way that we typically do a knee replacement is you get what's called a spinal block, and that from the waist down makes your legs go numb and they don't work for about two to three hours. But after that block starts to wear off and you're starting to get some sensation back down in your legs, the next step would be to go and do some physical therapy and pass your therapy evaluation to be able to go home. And there's a stepwise progression in that. So what we usually ask you to do when we start to have some sensation back in your legs is say, can you push this operative leg straight down in the bed? And that tells us that the quad muscle is starting to get back and work. And once you can then lift your leg up off the bed, now we know that you have full quad control and we're ready to go for a walk. Okay, so now that we've passed our straight leg raise test for our joint replacement, the next step is to work on getting out of bed. So our two wonderful nurses here will demonstrate what happens next. Okay, well, you sit up, we've got your gait belt on, we're gonna have you just slowly pivot your leg to the side, to the side and sit on the edge of the bed. Both feet on the and floor. just sit and look straight ahead. Get your bearings and once you feel like you're not dizzy, you can go ahead and push off on the bed and to your walker. Perfect. And now the next step will be to start walking. Okay, so now we've successfully gotten up and out of bed with our new joint replacement and our two wonderful nurses are going to demonstrate how to go for that first walk. You're going to want to lead with your walker and then your operative leg. Perfect. And now it's important to note that you can put full weight on that operative leg and use in the walker for stability. Excellent job. So now we've successfully gone for our first walk and the last phase to pass your therapy evaluation after having a joint replacement is to go up and down some stairs. So our wonderful nurses are going to demonstrate how to successfully do that. Okay, you're going to want to start with your non-operative leg up and then your operative leg. And again, note, you can put full weight on that operative leg immediately. Okay, now you're going to want to go down with your operative leg. Follow with your knot. And notice that he's taking one step at a time. That is fine. You can do that as long as you need to do. It, the main goal is not to fall. And when you feel comfortable being able to do two steps at a time, that's fine as well.